Today you will learn how to log in with Google and Firebase with an iOS device. All the code is in the description. First, we will go inside the popspec.yalm and we will add those four dependencies. The Flutter auth, the core, the sign-in, and the provider. This is a brand new Flutter project. First of all, we will import inside the main those four dependencies. After we will recall the main, be sure to add the widget Flutter binding and the await firebase.initialize app. After we will call our build, we will add the multi provider with a stream provider dot value. The value will be the firebase hot dot instance dot hot changes. We will have the material app that we'll call the widget tree. So we need to add the file widget tree. In this build, we will first of all call the variable user, call it by the provider of the Firebase instance. And then we will say, if the user is null, then return a login page. Otherwise, return the home page. Now we have created our class widget tree. We can go back inside the main, quick fix, and import this widget tree. Here we go. First part, done. That's good. Next step, we will need to add the login page and the home page. Let's start this. Let's add the login page dot dart. Right away, let's add also the home page dot dart. Now let's add the code. First of all, inside our home page, we will start with a simple scaffold. This scaffold will have the app bar that will say home page. The body will have the center, the raise it button that will call the sign out future. This sign out future will be a weight of the authentication that sign out. That's good. We have done the home page. Next step, the login page. Yes, I will write authentication for the rest of this video. This is because I am a French person and I say croissant. And in French, it is authentication. But whatever. Inside the login page, we will have the same scaffold, the center, the raise it button, that will call the await authentication dot sign in with Google. Next step, you can go back inside the widget tree and add the login and the home page import because we just have created those two pages. Now I know you feel like a damn sweet lord good hacker. Next step, we will add the page authentication dot dart. And yes, I have write it authentication. Okay, inside this one, we will say authentication. We will call the final Firebase auth dot instance. After that, from the home, we will use the sign out. So we need to create the future sign out final Google sign in equal to Google sign in. And we will await the Google sign in then sign out and the Firebase dot sign out. We will need also a future for the Google sign in from the login page. This one will have the Google sign in equal to Google sign in. We will have if the Google user is not null, then we will have the Google user dot authentication. It will be if the Google auth dot ID token is not null, then we will create the final user credential. And this one will have the sign in with credential from the Google Auth provider that credential. Inside we have the ID token and the access token. If the Google user is null, then we will throw a Firebase Auth exception. Inside this one we'll have the message and the code. The message will just say sign in aborted by the user. Good. Inside the login, we can add the quick fix with the import of the authentication.dart. We can do the same with the home page. Now let's do a one second of silence because the code is done. Next step, go inside your Firebase account and we will add the iOS Firebase connected with our application. Okay, to do that, you will need to go inside uh, the iOS and open with Xcode. Inside this one, you can click on the top folder called the runner. And this runner will give you the identifier. 
you can change the com.example by the name of your application. This will save you a couple of trouble later. So be sure to change that. You can copy it and paste it right inside the iOS bundle. For the app nickname, you can put whatever nickname you want. I will put Google Hot App. Then after you will need to download the Google services info plist. Then I will just save it in any folder. It's not a problem. You will need after to drag and drop this file inside this place of the Xcode. Be sure to have the checked on copy item and the check on the runner. Perfect. After that, you can click on finish. Good. Next step will be to go inside the info.plist and you will add another place. This one will be the URL type. You will click on the little arrow until you find the URL identifier. You will change it for the scheme. Good. After that, you will click on the arrow once again and we will need to add a string. You can go inside the Google services info, copy the reverse client ID, and we will paste it inside our item zero. Good. This is done. We will come back inside our Firebase. Okay, we need to say next, next, and next. So we will say continue to console we have successfully connect our Firebase with our application. You can close Xcode and now we can run our application. As you can see, you may fall inside this error. To solve this error, you can go back inside the Xcode. And what we will do is we will change this deploy version. I will use instead the version 12. I can close once again the Xcode and I will rerun the code. I will select my device and I will wait until it's loading. Okay, last little step is to go inside Firebase again, inside the authentication and we will activate the authentication with Google. We enable it, we use our email and then you can put the name of the application. You can put whatever name, so I will put my random project. Now you say save. Good. We have successfully add the Google sign in for our application. Now we can click on it and you will be able to log in with Google. So I will put all my credential and I see you in the homepage. That's it for this one. Also, if you have liked this video, wait that much longer because and when you're broken on the ground. This is another video for the Android login with Google and Firebase. I'm sure you will like it. See you on the next one. Peace.